18 foot Malibu Razor. This van belongs to uh, a couple who's approaching retirement. They have been following us on YouTube and social media for a fairly decent amount of time, done all their research, which is great. Um, so we appreciate the support. Basically, because these guys are, um, this van basically came with um, a couple of AGM batteries. It's got a compressor fridge in it. Um, they run Starlink. They've got a SAT TV. They were finding that their system was not quite able to keep up with their load demand, even without an inverter, which this van didn't have. So all of their system was essentially running on battery only, so 12 volt supply only. So the, the SAT TV, for example, runs on 12 volt. The Carafan that they've got runs on 12 volt. So there is, for a little van, this has got quite a lot of gear in it already on the 12 volt side. So the, the load and the consumption is quite demanding. It only came, I think from memory, only had two solar panels on the roof. Um, so again, not a substantial amount of recharge for the actual load that was going on in here. So the conversation sort of went into how do you want to try and best run this van? Being an 18 foot van, we are always going to be limited for the amount of solar we can get on the roof of this. Um, because it is only a small van. Normally with these size vans, so this is a very similar footprint and layout to something like a, J a JB Gator X or um, something of that similar nature. We generally find, particularly with caravans mounted onto the roof, um, that realistically a thousand watts of solar is max. Um, with this van, there's actually a little bit more roof space on the front slope um, than say a JB Gator X. Um, so we're actually able to restructure the solar panels on the roof a little bit. We're actually able to get 1100 watts of solar on the roof, uh, which is great. So this, you know, as we talk about in all of our videos, we, we try and maximize the roof space as much as possible with these size of systems um, to get the most amount of solar as we can on the roof. But as always, we've given them the ability to plug a portable in as well, which is out on the side of the van, which goes through the DC DC charger. So they can add additional solar to this van. But essentially, this is a big system for a little van. So the, the conversation was always around running their air conditioner off grid for extended periods of time. Um, this particular air conditioner is a Horton Bel Air 3400. So a very very heavy consuming air conditioner so it draws a lot more energy out of the system than say um, like a Dometic Fresh Jet or even some of the earlier model um, Dometic Ibis 4s or Harriers or the like. Um, so what we've had to do is again being such a small van we've condense the system down into the undersea area, but the undersea area, the L-shaped lounge is already quite small uh, and there was quite a lot of gear already under this seat. All right, so let's take a look underneath here. As you can see, we've got a hot water system over here on the left-hand side. We've got some pumps and um, the water inlet hoses for filling the tanks. And then from there, we've had to squeeze the electrical system into um, quite a small amount of space. So component choice in this van was extremely important. Um, the footprint of the components that we've chosen for the maximum amount of capacity that we can get out of them was extremely important. So we've gone with a, as, as quite a lot of our builds are, we've gone with a Lifetech 620. Um, extremely small footprint, 600 amp hour battery with full compliance to the standard. Um, we've gone also with this one with a, um, inverter charger, so an Enerdrive 3000 watt 100 amp inverter charger. Again, quite a small footprint for the amount of um, energy that it generates. We've also gone for a couple of different solar regulators. So we've gone for a 60 amp solar regulator, which is actually taking in 800 watts of solar off the roof. And we've gone for a 20 Victron regulator as well. So a smart solar 20 and 120. Um, and that's actually taking in 300 watts of solar from the roof. So 
as you can see again in here, it is quite tight. There's, there's, you know, we were really limited with what we could do in this space, but, you know, maximizing the roof and also this under seat area, what that's meant is they've got a really nice system. It's quite a substantial system for this particular van and we haven't needed to take up space underneath the bed. So they've still got a good amount of storage, all the storage that they had previously underneath the bed. It also means that in this van, because it is a single axle 18 foot caravan, weight is extremely important in these vans. Um, you, you are really limited for the amount of weight that you can carry in this. And that was one of the conversations that we were having with the owners of this particular van. Yes, we're taking out heavy AGM batteries, but we're actually adding in probably more weight than what they were, uh, what their old system was. Uh, but again, we've centralized it over the axles. Their payload is enough to be able to then manage the new system. Um, the other things we've done with this particular build is uh, as most people find the tanking systems or the tank measuring systems in caravans are pretty horrible. Um, they're, not, they're not very good. So we've actually added si um, tanking to Cymarine. So if you come around and have a look here, we've installed the controls into the side of the fridge um, where we have our Cymarine system and our inverter controller. But as you can see here, we've got our tanks. So we're actually able to measure tanking really nicely. So we've got both freshwater tanks and the grey water tank situated in there. Um, as always, we're able to monitor our solar. Two separate channels for solar. We're monitoring our um, vehicle and portable solar panel. 12 volt loads. We're giving them some battery monitoring as well. So right now we are actually running the air conditioner. Um, so once again, talking about the air conditioner, this is not a soft start um, or an inverter style air conditioner. So we have had to put a modification into this air conditioner to be able to run it off this system. Um, what that means is that I suppose without going too technical, essentially when the motor in, when the compressor in the air conditioner starts it, it puts a huge amount of load through the system. Putting a soft starter into the system uh, gently ramps the load on so the inverter doesn't then get a massive inrush of, of um, current, which can over time cause damage to the inverters. So for those of you with these types of air conditioners and these types of um, inverters, you need to be careful that you have got something like that installed into your caravan because other you possibly can find that if you know something goes wrong with your inverter and the installer hasn't done that, then Enerdrive may not warrant that particular situation. And your installer needs to be qualified to be able to do the modification in the first place. Right, so moving on from all of that, um, this caravan now has the capacity for this couple to travel anywhere they want with realistically the only thing that's going to limit them is water. Um, they're ne never going to run out of power. They can run their air conditioner continuously for, for, for hours. Sun's up, they're able to run it. Um, they can run kitchen appliances, so we can always run coffee machines and toasters and kettles and, and all those sorts of things in the kitchen. They will be running an induction cooker as well, so they will do that. Um, if you are someone that likes to have all your hair products and all that sort of stuff, you can even run hair dryers and straighteners and curlers if that's what you're into, that's no problems at all. So that can all be run from these types of systems. As I say, this system is a very large system for this small caravan. Normally in these types of vans, we tend to limit the system to a 400 amp hour system just purely because of the solar capacity that it can have um, on the roof. We like to make sure that we get you know uh, enough solar backing for getting the battery recharged. Um, this one we're able to squeeze a little bit more on which meant we could have a bigger battery. So we're really happy with the results of this caravan. This has been a really nice build and we're really looking forward to handing this over to the owners. Cheers guys, we'll see you next time. There's three little, three little eliminations on there.